Vete a cuidar. Guapi, bueno, tell, tell, tell famas, tell famas, tell famas more about them. Oh, you are talking to me. <laughs> uh, good morning, farmers, and uh, welcome again to Eugene Smart Farms. Eugene Smart Farms. Najua mujui, mutajua mujui. Uh, camera man, unaza onyesha easy. Look at these ones. These ones are uh, in science. Their scientific name, they are called capsicum. Capsicum, yeah. But uh, in layman's language, kila mutu anajua zinaitu wa hoho. Pili pili hoho. Najua watu wengi munajua hizi vitu wa zikui migori, ni wakikui upeke yake wanapanda. Kili kidogo. Hizi vitu, we are farmers. We have the knowledge. In fact, we want to start training farmers here. Kuna vitu mingi you don't know kwamba they can be done around, by the way. For example, he si maria kwanza, we are not piloting. We are doing these things, my friend. Zikoko mtoni. Na zimekua. So this is easy example na onyesha. This is in the second time. So wapatia waendele kupanda. We can, yes. we, we can introduce ourselves. Yes, guys. Unajua tumianza bila intro, introduction. Guys, call me Dr. Eugene. I'm the CEO for this company. Now, guys, now, you know, we have got so many activities which have been running in Eugene Poultry Farm Limited. You know, now, some parts of, of, of development ambazo tunafanya sahi, we realize that um, in entire Nyanza region, we don't have a serious agricultural training center, whereby now we are developing one serious agricultural training center here in Migori. This one will be able to train farmers all the way from Nyanza region block. They will learn from here. We are doing several types of crops here, guys. I'm sure we are going to train you guys how we prepare these nurseries. This first nursery in your capsicum. Capsicum ni pilipilio. Hapa tuko na bitungu. Bitungu already zina karibia kuwa harvested. Zienda kwa shamba. Alafu tena pale, tena pale juu. Pale juu, tena tuko tena na tomatoes. Actually, our first phase of tomatoes was out. Because we have already harvested our first tomatoes there. Now we are giving them now to the market. Now, you know, we are sorting matter of food security. And then also now, farmers should be self-reliant through agricultural products. In this farm of ours, I'm sure I'm going to show you guys. We have done, we have done, we, we have done a lot, I'm sure. We have done some types of irrigation, whereby I'll be training you guys how these irrigations are, are taking place. Like that, you can tell them some of the irrigations that you have embrace already in this farm. We are not depending on rain. Yes, hello farmers again. Karibu sana. I know previously we had talked, like in, let me answer Dr. Ari's question. We have done a lot uh, with irrigation. You know here we are doing something that is called integrated agriculture. So it don't depend on weather, assertion, as, that we have to be asserted by weather for us to move on. We are doing a lot with irrigation. Uh, first of all, uh, we have imported a very big solar. In the next video, on uh, to a solar pump, we are doing overhead irrigation. We are doing drip irrigation. We don't depend on just machinery. Kwamba ni mafuta tutakuwa nayo ndo Iran. Tuko na money maker pump yen tunakanyaga. We have a solar panel. So apart from we also have a machine inside there. Daktari ya kupump maji kutoka kwa mtoni. So ni ni relay. Tunapatiana we have uh, several boreholes. Tunapatiana kutoka mtoni from uh, one borehole to the next stage inakuja shambani. So sisi hatukaukiwi. We have drip and overhead irrigation. So guys, I'm sure you are going to be trained about over how you can do your small drip irrigation in your chicken garden there. You can do your small your small overhead sprinklers in, at your homes there, guys. I'm sure this farm, this new farm of ours, Eugene Smart Farm, I'm sure it will be able to train you there. And then also, guys, on the back to our nursery management. Like that, tell them, how do we manage to produce very healthy, very healthy things like these ones here? Yeah. Tell them. Thank you again. First of all, farmers, let me remind you, as farmers, we are failing because of one thing. We fail to raise healthy uh, plants because of one thing. We do not buy hybrid seeds. Tafadhali, farmers, make sure you purchase hybrid seeds. Make sure you, you purchase seeds that are up to quality. Uh, CC, that's the first thing that we do. The second thing, the land preparation. Our nurseries are prepared up to their finest tilth. We do primary, we do secondary, and tertiary tillage. Then after there, uh, you can either use compost manure 
or you can use farmyard manure. You spray or you spread uh, over the nursery. Ikikuwa iko sawa una spread your nursery. Then after we spread your manure, then you are ready to go. So as you can see, we have healthy plants. Healthy plants equals warmth, uh, good uh, air supply, na water. Na hizo ndo vitu tuna provide. First of all, wakati to make uh, our seedlings, our seeds to kiweka kwa nursery. Before they germinate, farmers are usually advised for you to attain 100 or 90 to 100% germinate the, the germination percentage. When uh, you have uh, sown your seeds on the nursery, make sure you give them at least uh, 24 hours for them to acquire the warmth they need. Remember, uh, in germination, warmth is needed. You can't just sow your seeds and uh, decide to water at the same time. Watch as ipigwe na jua, hiyo nasari before ata ufunike, before you mulch. In 24 hours, Mr. Kwasi may acquire the warmth that they need. Then after there, now you can mulch and continue watering. Nasari should uh, uh, obtain sufficient water. Mukiangalia, daktaru kionyesha uko juu, we have a, a bohol there. Hatuishiwi na maji. We do irrigation hapa pote. These are the, not the only nurseries we have. In fact, we have carrots there. Hawa kuwa meona. Nyanya tukonazo pandemi. So water plus good manure. It can be farmyard manure, compost manure, or even uh, organic fertilizers. So una make sure kwamba you do what is required. So I'm sure you will prepare for them a very nice clip of how you are preparing the nursery. I'm sure steps of preparing a good nursery. Yeah, sure. I'm sure you'll be you'll be you'll be doing other nurseries for tomatoes, right? It's true. How many how many seeds? We are going to do fifteen thousand. Yeah. Kilele F1, we are going to do ten. Then we are going to try shanty, five thousand. And then those ones they already they are on the side. Zara F1, right? Zara F1, yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go around. Let's show. Let's show. Let's show them. What is this man? Here we are doing some piloting. This, eh? this is garlic farmers. Farmers, this is garlic. This, this is garlic. Say, garlic cannot do in Migori County. We tell you, you are wrong. We have done a, a lot of piloting. We have done, have done a lot of testing. We consult experts who have who, are, who have higher knowledge than us. In, come imagine since tunafanya easy vitu. Na tuna succeed. That means we are knowledgeable. Tukitafuta mtu mwenye na tushinda sasa knowledge. Wale map. We do great things. This is garlic. Farmers in the next like four months, tunenda kutoa hapa pesa. People do not believe garlic can do here. But this one has done. Namnaona imesha toka. So garlic imesha toka. Now guys, now we are believing that now. Unajua hii ni kitungu saumu, but hii ni kitungu ile ya, ile ya, ile ya bulbs. So hii ni kitungu ile ya bulb. Red creole. Ile ya red creole. But now this one sasa hii, hii sasa ndi sasa wanita sasa. Garlic. Now, now we are doing piloting. We are doing piloting with around uh, three thousand, three thousand pieces. We just began with three thousand pieces, but now, guys, we will be upscaling because any breed to nothing else, any big to nothing else. From here now, the this 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 garlic will go now into our farmers and then also to the nothing else breed in Missouri. Sana. Again, also happening here we have Zara F1 tomatoes. Advantages. Of these hybrid tomatoes, yes, they are expensive at Ukatai, but first, they are tolerant to bacterial weeds. Farmers kitu kina wasumbuwa kwa mashamba inu sana sana is bacterial weeds. Mutu wanapanda nyanya inakauka. You don't know the reason. We have so many reasons as to why inakauka. Tuta tengeneza yu clip ya those plant diseases and we will handle them. But wacha ni kueleze, this variety iko tolerant to that disease. The second advantage is early to middle maturity. It matures within just two months. Two months, that's 65 days. Isha matures na umeanza kuchuna. The third thing, its bush, and its foliar and bush, na pia production. Production ya Zara F1 iko juu. It's a climbing variety wakulima. Inafika hapa. Inakuanga na up to five steps. So that means in one tomato you can get from 35 to 45 Tomatoes. Imagine you have 10,000 tomatoes. What will you be having? Tunarudi nyuma because we don't know the varieties of tomatoes that we should be cultivating. So, hii ni mbegu mzuri sana. Na inakuwa haraka. So now that one is very good. So hii ni, to, hii ni, to, hii ni tomatoes. So now those ones are the trainings that we're going to undergo. 
These ones are the trainings in Tokoto na undergo. So hapo sasa ni carrots. Mbona da, mbona daktari kuna sheds? Hizo hizo sheds unaweka hapo. Hizo sheds mnaweka juu ni za nini? Hello farmers again. Remember these plants are still young. We can't subject them to direct sunlight. Because first of all, carrots need a lot of water. So these sheds are like a mulch. These sheds like are like a mulch, but we have raised them. The reason the reason we have raised to naitanga shelves, eh? The reason we have made these shelves or beds to, to these carrots is because hatutaki zilaliwe ziumizwe. So bado ni changa, hatutaki jua mingi zipige. But as they are continuing, we will do something called hardening off. Tunatoa pole pole these are sheds so that they adapt to this normal weather. Na zinaendelea so haziogopi jua. Hatuwezi zishitua. Remember even plants have stress farmers. Ukizishitua uzi direct to sunlight mara moja hivyo, they will be affected. Asante ni sana, nimejibu yo suwali daktari. So now daktari, so daktari ni meelo, and I'm sure you are doing well in this management here, and I'm very, very, so, 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 so grateful about of, uh, how, of how you are working here. But now guys, let's focus, let's focus, let's focus. I'm sure these all crops we are telling you here guys, this tomatoes thing, this, 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 uh, ilu meita nini, capsicum. That, that's yeah, capsicum. capsicum, the garlic thing here. I'm sure guys, Garlic seeds ni kugumu kupata sana. Mostly in the entire Nyanza region block. Zinakuwa sourced all the way from Nyeri baka hapa. I'm sure now the people of Nyanza now will be able to get these crops here, will be able to be trained here, and I'm sure by the end of the day, guys, you'll be learning because we are preparing for you an agricultural training center. We as the company, we have managed to fence around over one hectare for you farmers to come and learn. Let's go inside and check there. Dr. to take us through. Visa nyanafanya pandani. Before we leave here, farmers, are you aware? Are you aware of this thing? Are you aware that tomatoes belong to a family called the nightshade family? The, so, night, the nightshade family? Yeah, in fact, yeah. tomatoes belong to the nightshade family. Uh, that means you should not cultivate tomatoes with other crops that belong to the same class as them. The, some crops that belong to the nightshade family, well, first of them is capsicum. There. The second thing is uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes. The third thing is this normal pilipili. Pili. So make sure when you're cultivating your crops, you take care. Another one is tobacco. So where you have cultivated tobacco, make sure how, how wake you konyanya. It encourages bacterial wilt and tomato mosaic also and other pests that attack tomatoes. So guys, I'm Thank sure we, we are so resourceful in this knowledge, guys. Let's go ahead, guys. Let, let, let's show you. Let's show you guys the kind of preparation we are doing here. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we are doing a very big work here. Very big work here. Very big work here. So the curry, the curry, the curry, the curry, the curry, the curry. Here now is inside the new, the new perimeter wall. The other new wall there, the other old wall down, down there. Huko ni poultry. Pale chini poultry na fanya kazi pale. Pale tunabilivu zile manyumba zine up to 50,000 bucks down there. I'm sure those ones who have been following us guys. And if you are following us guys, Continue subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking our videos so that also you can keep on learning. Dr. tell us more about this inside here. Make sure you also tune or turn the notification button on. Continue receiving the videos from us. Yes, welcome again. Let's start with this section. Dr. as we had planned earlier, this one, uh, we said it, could, it, it will be our daily unit. Our daily unit. This one can accommodate up to something like Eight cows. Eight cows. Comfortably, eight cows. So, we are going to have the feeding area. We are going to have the resting area. We are going also to have a, an area where our calves will be. They are somewhere at the, uh, beside the door here. So, this one will be the feeding area. This side here. It will be the feeding area. So, now the, so now the tariff, let's do this way. This structure, guys, we are, we are preparing here. It's for the daily unit. I'm sure this video, I'm going to upload for you another video now. Here, here. Here, daily capacity building. Because you need another value chain. Because we're talking agriculture. Yeah. Let's show you some of the pumps. Thank you. Let's go and show them. 
So, alafu hapa tena tunatengeneza supermarket. Hapa kwa farm. <laughs> supermarket iko hapa, wakulima wakija wakija kusoma kuku, wanaweza wakaanza wakanua hapa snacks, vile vinatengenezwa na kuku. Na hapa kuna hapa mayai, cakes hivyo hivyo. So guys, you know it's a big one. Let's carry it to the farm. Oh. Karibuni sana. The pump is there. The agricultural pump. Let's show you. And then some of the solar panels that Tari was showing you is in the in the in the in that roof. Let me zoom for you. Some of the solar panels are there. Yeah, but we will prepare a very good clip when it comes to that. So now guys. This is the pump, Dr. This is the pump. Imagine you can uh, imagine the distance, the inlet distance from down here. So this pump is able to, to pump water from inside here. Inakuja na inapeleka shambani. So how does the pump operate? So inatoa moto hapi kwa sola? Pump inatoa, as you can show them, these are wire, these are cable. It's an electrical cable. So now inatoa hiyo, inatoa moto kwa, kwa sola? Kwa sola. Then this pump has a sensor. Ukiingiza ndani ya maji, it senses that water using that sensor then it is able to pump that water. And then to up there? To up there. Then, then to sprinklers. To the, to the sprinklers. Can the, pump, can the pump do irrigation without that pump? Without the, yeah, it can. We connect directly. Even when you connect with that money maker input, it is able to work without even the sprinklers. The pressure is very high. I'm sure I just prepare for them a good clip. I just prepare, prepare for them a good clip sure. and a good demonstration yeah, for the in, same. In fact, yes. Yeah. Because guys now, I can tell you now our second wall is over. Now we are doing installation. This idea, pale ni one stop shop ya wakulima wanezanua pale snacks. Zao hivo hivo, alafu pale pia ni stores. Because nyanya zinaitaji staking. So tokoa tunastore vitu mingi sana huko. In fact. Yeah. So I'm sure we are going to show them.